guys welcome back to busca kitchen is your favorite girl busca baby today guys we are talking about why you shouldn't tell your girlfriend if you saw is her husband cheating on her why you shouldn't tell them because this can lead to destroy the marriage so guys please share this video like share invite more people to this platform so that we we can we can save many marriage oh my boy is here he just wake up so we are going to do this video together i'm sorry i've already started so i can't stop this video now because i just started so guys just try invite more people invite your friends share so that more people can come in so that we can save most most marriage because the rate of divorce nowadays is too much so guys let's do this together let her sister let her brother or let help our family okay so i will be talking why you shouldn't tell your girlfriend why you shouldn't tell your girlfriend if you saw her husband cheating on her the reason because if the marriage starts out tomorrow <laughs> you tell your girlfriend and at the end the marriage did not work out you will be the one responsible for that you know because if you did not tell her she will not come out and tell his husband that you have cheated on me or you are doing this you have done that you are doing this no you have to try as much to protect your girlfriend you have to protect their marriage we are there to help them if you saw his husband cheating on her just pretend that you did not see anything because it's possible that telling her you don't mean him but if anything happened to the marriage at the end your name will be the first you will say is my girlfriend also saw this that told me that he saw my husband is this that told me and beside that if he leave the husband do you have another husband to give to her can you provide another husband for her so for that reason you have to try try your best not to tell your girlfriend if you saw her husband cheating on her and for the man too men that is cheating i'm not supporting them but it's their nature to cheat you can't do anything about it just try and be that good wife that you are try and be bringing that good quality that you are women are there to support men just be behind be be there for him even if he go outside just be there for him at the end you will change sorry guys there is a little noise in the background you can see i'm with my baby and there is other of my baby playing there so there is a little noise just try and be here with me grace please can you come and finish this video <laughs> so guys just try and be here with me so please not to make that mistake of telling your girlfriend that you saw a husband cheating or you telling your your friend that you saw a wife cheating no you don't need to do that try and help each other you are a friend try to be there for her even if she complain bitterly about her marriage even if she complain if her husband do this her husband do that but you don't need to tell her even if her husband beats her always you don't need to tell her because she will walk out of her marriage and if she walk out your name will be this your name will be always there because if they are saying why do you leave your husband you will say my friend told me he saw my husband with another girl the fact that even if your friend tell you, the fact that the man did not bring the wife to the house, he did not bring the girl to the house. You, you, your the wife did not see the girl. He have some respect for you. It's a sign of respect. He gave you the respect. That's why he did not bring the girl to the house. And just try, even though someone told you, I saw your husband this, I saw your husband, you know that your husband is cheating. The least you can do, just buy condom. Put it inside the wallet. And anytime he's going out, tell him that I dropped something on your wallet. Remind him always. 
so that he will know that you know what he's doing and then he will change he will amend his way and for us women sometimes we are the problem to ourselves yes i always say this we are the problem to ourselves we nigerians and other countries we are the problems of ourselves because we don't give them the attention they need imagine a man, a good wife, try and be that good wife quality out of him. That good wife, that quality that the man see in you before marrying you, try and bring it out. Try and bring it out. Try and bring that quality out. Because the man saw that good quality in you before marrying to you. And after that, you change. It's not right. Even if you have you have TV children, you have four children, that did not stop you of dressing. Many women push their husband to to go to, to other girls, to go to other women. Why? Because of their dressing. Why? Because of their character. We women, we are beautiful. There is no doubt. We are beautiful without makeup. We are beautiful, but our character make us beautiful more. Our character bring out the beauty in us. Our character shows the beauty in us. What is me to be beautiful? At the end, you have a dirty character. The man will attract you. Will attract the man with your beauty, right? Is the truth. You will attract the man. Thank you, Shisho. I'm sorry. Ne, the Shisho you know. You will attract the man. With your beauty, yes, is the truth though? You are going to attract the man with your beauty, but at the end, the man comes to you with your character. You have a bad character, the man is not going to stay, the man will just come and go. That is the truth, he will just come and go. You are you are thinking, why are men not coming my way? Why are men coming and going? Is your character, my sister? Is your character, my lady? Try and change. Try and bring out that good character, that good quality in you that's motivating to marry you. Try and bring it out. Just try and be nice. Women, they need to support their husband. Women, they need to be there for their husband because we are main supporter. When God creates Adam, he created Eve. Why? Because Eve needs to support Adam. So we women, we need to support our husband. If not, everything will go out of hand. Yes, there are some women. There are some women. If there is no magging, there are some women. If there is no magging, they ask. And they have money, yeah? They will not bring out that money. You know why? They will say, my husband has not dropped money. I have to wait for my husband to come back so that I will use the money to buy my game. Oh, I have to wait for my husband to come back so that I can buy shorts. Because this money, I'm going to fix my hair lash. I'm going to fix my nails. I'm going to buy my cream. No. No, you are getting it wrong. We are supporter. We need to support our man. We need to be there for our man. We need to support them. We need to motivate them. All successful men today, there is always a woman beside them. There is always a woman behind them that is supporting them, that is motivating them, that is making them feel, yes, we are special. There is always a woman. That's why they said, Obiaga Maragbon. If men will, if man will live long, will prosper, <laughs> depend on the wife. Depend always on the wife. Because we lady, we are always attracted to material things. We are always attracted to material things. Imagine your husband goes to work early morning. When he come back at home, there is no food. You don't even have time to prepare the food. All you do is to stay at the telephone, search the talk, bring out the, the, the you are looking for a new a, a new voice to use on TikTok. You recognize all the voice on TikTok. You recognize everything on TikTok. No, my dear, it's very, very wrong. 
before your always back come back from work try and prepare the food okay. if you don't have money to prepare his favorites just try and prepare something for him okay. motivate him to see that good woman in you motivate him to see that woman that quality of a woman in you especially us that live in europe especially the women that live in europe our character is it's unbelievable it's uncreditable sometimes the men think why why do i marry this this man why do i marry this man what make me to marry this woman why why what am i gotten into yes is that what is the truth why why because we think government is there if i leave my husband government is there to take care of me if i leave my husband i will go to government i will do no shah i will go to court i will win the case they will pay me my dear think just take a break and think i know that many women think with their leg yes is the truth many women think with their leg and not their head please my women Try and think with your head. <coughs> Try and reason with your brain, not your leg. Don't let people use your brain for you. Don't let people use your head for you. Use your head. We know we women, we have fish brain. But let's try and use that fish brain that we have. Yes. Let's try and use that fish brain that we have. And bring out the best men that live in Europe. We think that we own the world. Many women that live in Europe, they, they don't give the respect to their husband. The respect that they deserve, they don't give it to their husband. Why? Because they think that government is always there to stand for me. My dear, think. Reason with your head, not with your leg this time around. Eh? Just try. Reason with your head. Think if your baby... You have a baby for this man. Sorry, my baby is disturbing. Let me say, if the baby grow up, what are you going to tell them? What are you going to tell them that make you to leave their father? Do you have a good reason to give? Do you have that reason to give to them that this make me to leave your father? No, you are going to get friend told me that. Your your father cheated on me. I did not see your father, but it's my girlfriend that told me that your father cheated on me, and I decided to leave. No, no, is not right. Even if, even if the woman complained bitterly to you, you don't need to do it. You don't need to tell your girlfriend. If you come and tell me that my husband is cheating on me. <laughs> my husband cheating on me my dear i will tell you thank you oh thank you for telling me but i can't leave my husband for anything oh. because why i can't trade my marriage for anything in this world because when you marry the man you 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 make a promise is a vow you vow to stay with the man for better for worse for rich, the poor. So, you are going to remain there till you die. Oh. It's just a covenant. You are going to remain there till you die. Divorce is never an option. And it will never be an option for us in Jesus' name. Divorce is never an option. If you divorce your husband, it's not going to bear a good fruit. No. The devil you know is better than the agent you did not even know. Yes. The man might pretend at the first thing must have that character you need in a man. What of if he's pretending? No man wants to marry a woman that has a baby. He will say he has a baby from another man before. Second hand wife. No man wants to do that. Especially in this Europe. No man, single mother. No man wants to associate with single, single mother. They will only go there. Shop clean maps. Yes. They will only go there and clean maps. And you, the friend that wants to tell the other, I saw your, your husband cheating. Do you have a perfect home? Tell me. Do you have a perfect home? It's not right. 
We have to try and save many marriage that we can. We have to be there for each other. We have to be each other back and wash. We have to try and stand, stand by our people. We the women, we have to try, no matter what it takes us. In marriage, there is many problems that come with the marriage. Marriage is a school. More you grow, more you learn. More you be in the marriage, more you learn new things. Every single day you are learning new things. Every single day. That is marriage for you. You never graduate in marriage. Even if your husband offended you in the presence of his friend, family member, please don't approach him there. Give him a time. Call him inside. Tell him only what you just did. I don't like it. Never repeat this again. I don't like it. That is it. That is it. You want to have a perfect marriage. Bring that perfect woman in you. You, are, you need a perfect man. Everyone, of course, everyone needs a perfect man. Yes. But are you perfect? Tell me. Are you perfect? Everyone needs a man that will pamper them. Are you perfect? Are you sweet? Bring out that sweet in you. Some things that make men go outside and shit on their wife. Know that they do it intentionally. So it's a mistake. I know that yes, there are men that can't live without cheating. It's in their nation to cheat, yes. Many men is their nation to what? Cheat. Cheating in their son name. You know, in their blood. It's there. For, it's there. Cheating. It's inside their blood. You can't change it. But if you have a man like this, what you need to do is to pray other and bring that perfect in you. You are a strong woman. Show that strongness in you. Show them that you are strong. Show them you can't trade your marriage for anything. Next month is my anniversary of marriage. I've been married for TV years now. I've been married for good TV years now. I tell you, if you complain to me that your husband beats you, <laughs> my very good friend, my very good friend, my dear, I will tell you that my husband has never laid a finger on me. <laughs> you want to come? You want me to come and tell you that my husband beats me? <laughs> really? I seriously? I will never do that. I will never trade my marriage for anything in this world. That word marriage eh, is a big respect. That word, that woman is married, is a big respect. You know why? If you are walking outside, a man see you, he, he, he wants to insult you. The other one will say, no, stop, eh? This woman is a married man, eh? His husband will come from you. Do you know what it means? Do you know the kind of respect? Do you know what it means that you are married, your man will come and fight for you? If you know, you will not trade your marriage for anything. That word marriage is a big respect that we need to respect. It's a garment that we are putting on. It's a white garment. And that white garment, we need to respect it. We need to try to respect that white garment in us. That makes us more stronger. More the marriage is strong. I know many temptations will come. In marriage, there is always temptation. In life, there is always temptation. But be that strong, that strong that you have, that strong woman that you have. If you bring it out, <laughs> my dear, everything will went well. Your marriage will be sweet as ever. Before your husband come back from work, try and prepare his favorites. Before his, your husband come back from work, Try and arrange the house. Many women don't do that. Many women go around gossiping. Many women go around telling their friends, my husband do this, my husband do that, my husband do this. My dear, you come and tell me that your husband beat you. I will not come and give you my husband though. No, nah. I can't borrow you my husband. It's what 
you can't do in life. I can borrow you my clothes. I can borrow you my shoe. I can even borrow you my gold, my jewelry. But husband is <laughs> cast. So husband is cast. We may many for our side. If you don't want your husband to shit on you, try and be good. Looking. If you don't want to, your husband to go to another woman, <laughs> that shall go vet. Bring her come out now. Bring it out. You have it. God has blessed you with it. Just bring it out. Bring it. Show your husband that you are still sexy. Show your husband that you are that good woman in marriage. Show your husband that you are that ma woman in color that he, he trusts. If your husband has problem, be the one that just just be by his side. Be there for him. He will rest his head on you. If you want to cry, he will cry on your shoulder. If you want to cry, he will cry on your shoulder. If anything happens to your marriage, try and settle it in your home. Don't go and tell your mother, it's not an ocean. Don't go and tell your friend, it's not an ocean. And you that his friend is coming to tell, your husband is cheating on you. I saw your husband this, I saw your husband that my sister is a bad friend to you. This girl, this boy want to naked me. Oh. <laughs> he want to naked me. Oh. He's a bad friend to you. He's not a good friend. A good friend will always check out for his friend. He will always be there. He will try as much to protect. If you are the girl that go always to say your husband is cheating on you, my dear, try and change. It's no good. Do you want to destroy the home? Do you, sorry, guys. Do you have another husband to give to her? Me, I don't have it. Eh? If you have, I don't have. And you try and use your sense, not your leg. Reason with your head. Just try and reason it with your head. Even if you are the breadwinner in the house, that does not mean that you can't respect your husband. That did, that did not give you the right to insult your husband. That did not give you the right to talk back at your husband. It's not done in any way. Then is our second God. Our husband is our second God. We have to adore them and appreciate them. When you are doing your work as a wife, you are bringing out the good wife material in you. You will see that even if your husband like shitty, he like women. You will see that it will change. And be prayerful. In any successful marriage, you have to be what? Prayerful. Go on your knee. Cry to God. God, I married this man for him. I married this man because he loved me. I married this man because he adored me. God, why changes? Please, bring back my husband to me. And you try and be that good woman in you. You will see that everything will be sweet. That perfect marriage that you desire will be there. But if you are the one that before his husband come back, he will be there in gossipy. When your husband come back from work, there is no food. There is nothing in the house to eat. My dear, he will beat you. He will what? He will beat you. That good husband that you are looking for. And that good marriage you so much desire will not come home. So you have to try. You have to try all your best. Bring out the best in you. I always say, in every successful, all successful man in this life, woman is behind them. Woman is always there for them. Try and be there for your husband. Amen. I did not encourage you guys to be shit you. My next topic is you guys. Made that shit the repercussion of shitting. So please, guys, just try, try and respect your husband. Imagine you are married and you live in Nigeria. Go to market and sell tomatoes. When your husband gives you one thousand naira, <laughs> you will know the value of one thousand naira. When the sun will eat you, that your skin that is shiny is glinter. You become dark like me. Ah, you will know what you are facing. Women in Nigeria, 
most of them respect their husband even if they are the breadwinner of the house but they still respect their husband because why they know what is what to have a husband it's not <laughs> it's not now in europe if you insult them not all of them know i'm not saying all of them but most of them they don't respect please let us respect our marriage let us try bring out the best in us and single ladies out there that go for married men married men is never an option i know that yeah there is no man out there but married men is never an option imagine if you are married another woman another girl out there will come and take your husband from you you go to bed sleep alone lie alone there is no your husband nobody is there for you how will you feel how will you feel will you be happy will you be satisfied is that what you need for yourself please what you know that someone will not do to you if anybody do it to you you will be sad and angry please try not to do it to another we in nigeria we are the problem to ourselves i always say this we in nigeria we are the problem to ourselves so please guys try to respect your marriage and try to respect the privacy of your marriage try not to discuss your marriage with anybody and you ladies that go from one door to another door to discuss i saw your husband in first out there i spent your husband in this i saw your husband my dear what are you doing there try and build your home the time that you will use to go to gossip use that fucking time to build your home if you are not married, use that time to look for an husband because husband is very scarce. So, husband, you know, they again. I beg, make una, make una business. Make your business for once. Please, please, guys, this will be the end of this discussion. If you like, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, like, drop your comments. See you all in my next video. Thank you all for watching. Please help me to share this video. Help me to like, share. Introduce this video to other people. Let's save many marriage that we can. Let's save a home. Let's save people from, from, from going to the wrong end. Let's try and save people to, for divorce. Because the rate of divorce nowadays is, is too high. Let's try. And protect some marriage. As you do that, God will bless you. See you all in my next video. I so much appreciate you all. Thank you all for coming. And thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to share. Thank you all. See you in my next video. I love you all. And try and stay safe and keep your marriage. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.